Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I thought I'd share with you my team swap card for June. We decided to have a patriotic theme since um, July is just right around the corner and then we'll have some cards in time to send out for 4th of July. And on mine, when you open it up, there's a little banner that greets you. So when you're sitting it up, you can leave it open and have a little 4th of July banner or patriotic banner. So let's get started making this card. What we're going to need is a variety of punches. We're going to need two different sizes of star punches. These are retired Stampin' Up! punches. Every now and then the star punch shows up on the clearance rack, so um, you know, grab them when you see them. And um, But two different sizes of stars, the pennant builder punch, modern label punch, and the word window punch. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to create our card front. And I've got seven of the little blue stars punched out in um, specific point. And we're going to go ahead and layer one of them onto the large star. And then that one is going to go, I'm using my snail adhesive, and that one's going to go right in the center of the card. Okay, and then for each of my other, other little seven stars, I'm going to um, space them out evenly around the card. And I'll be back when I have that done. Next, I'm going to run the front of the card through the embossing folder, the stripes embossing folder. And again, I just want to do the front of it only. And what's nice about these is that they're clear and you can see where the pattern's going to be. So I'll run this through the Big Shot to get the stripe effect. So with the pendant builder punch, what I did is I punched out one set of the pendants in both Pacific Point, real red, and whisper white, and then I'm alternating the colors of the banners. So um, I've already done um, two of the layers. Now I'll just do the third layer. So I've got the blue on top of the red. Okay, so that's gonna make our banners that you see up here. So we can get them in the order that I have it on that. Next, I'm gonna take my paper piercer and my mat pack and I'm going to, I'll just do one here, and I'm going to poke holes up in the corner of all three banners. And that's what our string's going to go through. So I have white baker's twine, and I'm just going to go ahead and moisten it in my mouth and start weaving it through our little banner. And I'm going to come in through the top and then up through the back side and keep weaving with all three of them. So again, this one's going up through it and then back through the top so that the string will be on the back of each of the banners. Here's what the little banner looks like when it's all done. And again, this is these are just loose on here. So you can adjust them if you want and that's how the back looks. Again, I come through the top under the bottom and back up to each of the corners when I thread them. So now it's just a matter of, um, well, I guess first, whoops, getting ahead of myself just a little bit. What I did next is I took the little star image from Itty Bitty Bits and I punched in the complementary colors of Pacific Point were in real red and this is with um, with the craft ink of their, of, um, Oh goodness, Whisper White, and got three little images, and I punched out the circles with um, the circle from the, the Bitty Punch Pack. Okay, so now what I want to do is adhere each of these on here, and I took my good old, whoops, where are they? Here we go. I've got my dimensionals, and a half a dimensional will work well with the star, the small star. And so, go ahead and put that one on. Okay, and then on the other ones, I um, can take just a little bit from these sides here. And again, I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to cut the, these little, um, you know, cut it in half because I just need a super, super little pop-up piece. And we'll put them on the back. 
peel that off. Let's see how it goes on that one. And we'll keep going with the rest. To keep my banner in place, what I'm going to do next is keep the baker twine down with a mini glue dot and then cover that mini glue dot, dot with a small star. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get my mini glue dots. I'll pick one up and I want it to be um, up here, just, you know, towards the top. So I'll get one there. I'll pick up the other one and try to, um, you know, guesstimate just about where it it is so it's somewhat even on both sides. And then I'm going to take my my banner here and I'm going to line up the um, the blue or the center one here and you know however much you want it to loop down is how tight you can make it. But that looks good. I'll get my snips here and cut off those extra strings on the other side of the mini glue dot. Take my two um, small stars and again I'm going to pick up some more glue dots. That little pitter patter of feet is my Bichon Fluffs. She's coming to see what we're doing here in our crafting room. Hi Fluffs! Okay, so again I'm just putting using the paper piercer put the glue dot on the back of the star and then covering up that glue dot and then we can come back and trim off that little tail that's there. Now our little banner is there. I went ahead and stamped just for you. That's from the Teeny Tiny Wishes and I punched it out in the word window and layered it onto a modern label in Pacific Point. And there's our little 4th of July card. And what I did on mine then is I went ahead and used a little dazzling details and put a little sparkle since it is the 4th of July. And I put a little bling on a couple of the different elements in here. So again, when you open it up, you know that there's a little sparkle. So we'll just come through with some dazzling details and be all set. So I hope you enjoy making your little banner card. So this would be a cute little technique to do for a birthday, um, just any celebration and a little surprise when the recipient of your card opens it up. Hope you enjoy making it. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye-bye.